We've mentioned the wave, the slowdown, cops ahead, and your usual turn signals, but how many riding signals do you really know? If you're preparing to go on a group ride or hit the track, then it's definitely time for you to get familiar with these essential riding signals. You've probably come across a few of these if you took a motorcycle safety course, but if you aren't using them on a regular basis, it can be pretty easy to push them out of the old noggin. Before we get started, thanks for being here. You're awesome. All of you. Especially you, Doug. Especially you. You can come back here anytime, you know I mean it. Now let's start off with two signals you should definitely know even if you aren't planning to ride in any groups. The turn signals. Believe it or not, some motorcycles don't even come with blinkers, and even if yours did, there's always a chance that you might have a light go out. Or maybe you just prefer signaling by hand, or using both. Who am I to tell you how to live your life? Just kidding, I am Yami Noob, so you're here that I can impart wisdom onto you and tell you how to live your life, you little squid, to its absolute fullest. Bet on it, let's go. But let's be real, let's make sure you're using at least a blinker or a hand signal. Don't be a douche or a BMW driver. What's the difference, you might ask? But um, shh. Sorry for that. I'll be here all week, literally. Five videos per week. Smash that subscribe button. No one is as prolific as we are. Okay, simmer down now. Your left and right turn signal are pretty easy to remember. To signal that you're turning right, just bend your arm at the elbow with your clenched fist held high. Like so. It's a pretty easy way to remember this one is to think of it as celebrating being right. I caught some flack for saying being left-handed was for Satanists, but we all know that there's right-hand folks who are going to heaven. Talk about releasing the floodgates on the common trolls, eh? Moving on. Your left turn signal is as simple as sticking your left arm out with your palm facing down. Like the direction all left-handers are eventually going to go. Both of these signals are imperative for riding alone or riding with a group. It lets the traffic around you know that you are preparing to make a turn. And if you're in a group, it lets those behind you know to prepare for a turn. Pretty simple stuff, right? Well, allow me to blow your mind with some hand gestures you've probably never even heard of, but that you should definitely be using. The stop signal. The stop signal is primarily for riding in groups, but in the event you have a brake light go out, you could be using it temporarily if you're in traffic. To signal a stop, bend your arm at a right angle and point your fingers towards the ground. In a group ride, the person at the front of the group is usually the one who will give the signal with the few folks echoing it here and there for riders in the back of the group. If you're trying this out in traffic because you just had a brake light go out, keep in mind that if you don't know this signal as a motorcycle rider, most people in cars aren't going to know it either. But it will at least draw attention to the fact that something is going on. And that's better than just surprising the car behind you and being turned into a kebab. The next signal is really good for groups who aren't used to riding together yet or for groups with new newer riders. This signal is the speed up signal and it lets riders in the group know to put a little more twist in their throttles. Now because the speed up and slow down signal are so similar, let's go ahead and knock these two out together. To let your group know to speed up, stick your arm out, palm up, and slowly flap it up and down, kind of like a bird wing. You can also tap on the rear fender of your bike as if it was a horse, some people do that signal. To let your group know they need to slow down, do the same thing except this time your palm needs to be pointed down. Up equals good, down equals bad. Sometimes when you're out for a group ride, the person leading the pack can change. If you don't catch it, you could end up following the wrong person or missing important signals. The follow me signal is used to let the rest of the group know who is taking over as leader. It also is handy as if you're in a really large group and there's going to be a few different leaders to split things up a bit. To let the rest of the group know to follow you, raise your hand like you would if you were trying to ask a question. This one's pretty easy to remember. I think of it sort of like a pick me, pick me, because you know at some point everybody wants to be the leader. Which leads nicely into this next one, and that's picking a new leader. The you lead signal can be used to let individual riders know that they should follow you. It will make sense which one you are being signaled to do based on the context of your ride. Here's what you do. Point at the person's bike you want to take the lead, and then point out over the front of your bike. If you're out on a ride and you receive this signal, don't forget to throw your arm up to let everyone else know that you are the new leader as you zip to the front of your newfound glory. Congratulations, you finally made it, you're officially the big kahuna in town. Which means you're now the front line of defense for everyone riding behind you, so let's get real close to this next signal, the dreaded road hazard. Something you would otherwise roll right over in a car can be a death trap for a motorcycle, and if you're riding in a group and fail to signal it, it can turn into a dominant effect and down bikes. And you do not want to be the guy responsible for that, not if you value your life. To let people around you know that there's something in the road or some kind of hazard, you're going to want to point to it. If it's on the left, go ahead and point to it with your left hand. If it's on the right, point to it as best as you can with your right foot. 
you definitely don't want to take your hand off the throttle, so always use your foot when it's on the right. Group rides and even track days can look a lot like lost ducks trying to find their mom if you aren't careful. That's why a lot of good leaders know to use a single file signal. To let those around know you to get into a single file line, go ahead and raise your hand like you would to signal you're the leader. Then hold up the number of fingers that's equal to the number of files or columns you want. If you want to ride three across, then use three fingers, etc. Depending on where you're riding, two is probably going to be your max to be honest, but if you find yourself in a situation where more riders need to be side by side, then by all means, give the signal. Who knows? Maybe you're kicking in the Sahara on dirt bikes or in a squidlet moto gang that needs to go five across. To be honest though, in most group ride situations, you're gonna ride in a two by two format, slightly staggered to give the person in front of you some space and the person next to you some space as well. Just use common sense and don't signal for a five column ride if the entire group is in a one lane on a highway. You'll find yourself trapped with the new leader real quick and you may even get hit with the pull off signal. The signal is given when the group needs to pull off immediately or at the first available opportunity. To give this signal, use the right turn signal and straighten your arm out to the side of your elbow. Just make sure a few up and down motions at the elbow and your group should get the message. There are other times when you may need to stop during a ride. The most common stops are rest stops, food breaks, and fuel stops. So let's take a look at those. Now it's pretty obvious when you'd use or see them, but let's stay focused on what they look like. I think you baby yams have enough between your ears to know when it would be appropriate to signal for one of these bad boys, but first up is the rest stop. Pull your left arm straight out to your side, make a fist, and act like you're holding a shake weight, my dudes. Emphasis on shake weight because my team of lawyers have just informed me that I am not allowed to make a reference to what this particular hand signal also looks like. The food break can be signaled by giving a thumbs up with your left hand and poking that thumb towards your mouth a couple times. It can also be a point towards your stomach or a rub on your stomach. Again, I'm not allowed to say what this signal looks like and instead have been advised to tell you that you should probably think of it like a straw pulling up to your face. Yeah, a straw. Moving on. Fuel stops can be signaled by the leader of the group or can be sent up the chain of command by someone else in the group who needs to make a fuel stop. See, I told you these things were pretty self-explanatory, and this one is probably the easiest to do. To send this vibe to your tribe, just point to your gas tank. Boom. Easy. Don't be the doofus who runs out of gas during a group ride. Show up to your group ride nice and fueled. At best, they won't notice and will leave you behind unshamed. At worst, they will notice and will never hear the end of it as the group works to figure out the best way to get everyone back on the road and the best nickname you're going to earn yourself. The last two signals I want to touch on are courtesy for your fellow riders. If you see someone you're riding with with their left of blinker on, as we are all prone to do at some point, throw them a blinking signal by opening and closing your fist a few times. You could save them a world of embarrassment and the drivers around them a bit of confusion and put some good karma into the world. Now finally we have reached the end of Signal Mania. And the last one comes a PSA I've acquired directly from my lawyers. Yamini does not in any way encourage the use of the cops ahead signal as a way to avoid law enforcement. He does not share this signal with the intent of educating young squidlets in the ways of avoiding unnecessary speeding tickets, and is not responsible for any fines that may occur from the misuse of said signal. Whew. Now that we've got that out of the way, tapping on the top of your helmet is a foolproof way to let other riders know around you or even riders that pass you on the other side of the highway to know that there are cops ahead. This is where I direct you back to that disclaimer and let you know that this signal is meant to keep law enforcement officers safe. Yeah, just kidding. It's meant so that your squid brethren coming the other way know not to rip a fat, massive, dank nooner at that very moment. I'm kidding, guys. Ride safe. Don't be silly. Now, before I let you get going, you've got to check out this beginner bike giveaway rigmarole thing we've got going on because besides starting my channel, it's been the most successful endeavor I've ever taken on. Seriously, we've got over 575 people on here who are loving it, and if you don't believe me, they comment regularly on my videos and you can ask them below. Hit the link below to learn how you can win a KTM RC390 and hang out on my Discord server, which is kind of like a chat room. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and hit subscribe, ring the bell, and drop some comments. Seriously, how else will I be able to give away two brand new bikes for our next Be Giver Bike Giveaway series? Don't believe me? Well, then you're going to have to wait and find out then. Yeah, me out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Fact. Dueling is legal in Paraguay as long as both parties are registered blood donors. Don't know how true this fact is, but by God, someone checked it out, right? Audrey, right? Did you take a look at this? Jesus. Goodbye. Oh,